Hey everyone, so uh, for those of you who know the Infinity PBR uh, project, you may be familiar with the Mass Exporter script. It's a script that was written in JavaScript that made it easy to export lots of procedural materials all at once. Um, so that was in JavaScript. Uh, Unity's getting rid of JavaScript, so we need to update to C Sharp. And in that process, I wanted to make the process uh, even better, the, the Mass Exporter even better. So. Um, this is a, a preview of what I think works, and if you want to give it a try, you can download the um, the stuff from the, uh, the the Unity package from the uh, uh, forum link that I'm going to post on the forums, and give it a try yourself. It's, this will work on any uh, procedural material, so any SBSAR file from Substance Designer, um, not just mine. It can work on all of them, and it, it does a really good job. I think it's a it's a great improvement from the last one. So the first thing we can do, go Window SFA Studios, uh, Export Textures, and we're going to say Load Texture Export Window. All right, and so this is what the window looks like. It will give you instructions as you go along. So the first thing is you need a export object. Now I could go and select any of these I have already created. But instead, I'm going to create a new one for you. So we're going to go up to here again to the Space Studios, Export Textures, Create Export Object. It's going to load it right here already. It's going to be a scriptable object. And it's just going to be called 3. I'm going to call this Demo Object. And this is what I'll include with the package. And so you, you might name this, uh, you know, Dungeon Export or Dragon. Or whatever, because uh, whatever you say, keep here can be saved, so you can run it over and over and over again. That's what I'm going to be using for my demo scenes and the uh, texture creation scenes as I update all the packages very, very slowly over time because there's a lot of packages. Um, so once you have that, you can choose whether to set the normal map mode, and that means whenever a normal map is created, it will set the mode to normal map. That way, it looks correct in the scene. Uh, if if you're going to only export textures for use with uh, perhaps my other materials where the normal map should not be a normal map mode, then just deselect that. Most of the time, you're going to have that selected. Uh, and then also, we want to create materials, um, and so we're going with that unselected, you won't get any materials created. With that selected, you'll get materials created. Uh, group name is is something to keep it organized, so we'll call this dungeon demo. Um, and everything we export will be under that group name. Um, if we export multiple materials of the same type, uh, they'll have a numerical um, number, a number added at, at the end, and and so uh, the, the group name is important for that as well. Uh, so next, we're gonna need to add a procedural material. There's a few ways to add this. Um, first, we could just drag it in here. So I can go to the archways here. I can just drag one in. Actually. For this one, I'm going to have to drag in the material itself, uh, and you'll see it add there. Um, we can remove it as well. Uh, another way to do it is to select the Substance Archive, that's the rectangular icon there, and uh, you can go up to the uh, window, Space Studios, include selected materials. There's also a hotkey for that, so I'm going to select that there, and it'll load all of the uh, materials under that. Um, but you can also just select the material and hit the uh, hotkey, wait for that to load. Hit the hotkey and it'll load up there. Uh, and finally, uh, if you've got a bunch, you can actually select a bunch of different things and hit the hotkey and load them all. Um, whether they're uh, uh, archives or materials, they'll all load now, which is pretty cool. Uh, one warning you'll see here, if not all of them have generate all outputs, selected then uh, you're going to get that warning here so let's start with just the alcove uh, if you check out once you've got a, uh, a material there you can see these two drop downs this first one is the texture outputs these are the outputs that we're going to be saving um, if uh, uh, if you don't have generate all, all outputs selected you might not see everything in the list here uh, you might see this new button just appeared because I just did some coding. So, um, depending on how you add new materials, if you add new material that already has outputs, you might see this change. But once we click that there, I'm just going to click the reload outputs. That's going to load all the outputs now because uh, I'm going to be interested in the four or normal ones here that I'm using. Um, and I'm not going to be using the height map. I'm not going to be using the emissive. 
but I do want this Metal AO Height Rough, which is a new map that I've created for a uh, Vertex shader that I'm making. So uh, I definitely need to keep that file as well, which is why the Generate All is, is important. Finally, this last section, um, let me close these down. This last section is reusing textures. A lot of times, especially for characters, if you want to make a lot of different colors of the same character, but you want to share the map, so the normal map, the metal roughness, those things don't always change. If none of those change and you're only changing the color of the character, you want to reuse the textures. And so the first uh, texture you create will have all the maps because it's the first one. And if you've got these checked and subsequent uh, textures, if it can find these maps on the first texture in the export list, uh, it will reuse them. So you'll see that in a, in a sec because we're going to keep those checked. Um, and uh, then you just click the export textures button. It takes a little bit per material to export, to save the files, then import them into Unity. And once you see that, you'll find them in the export materials. This is the same folder as before. Um, with the group name, whatever you called that, and underneath that you'll find your material and all your textures. So if we look at the textures, we'll see the albedo and all the, this is the special texture, uh, and all the textures. And then if we click on the material, you'll see all these are now set properly. The emission, if there is no emission, this will be set to uh, black. It's a new thing as well that wasn't set properly before. Um, and so we've got the texture that's ready to be used in your game. Uh, from your SVSAR file. So that's cool. Let's add a little bit more though. Uh, one other way you can add things if you just open this up uh, as long as you just click all the ones you want to add. So we'll just add three more. Uh, this gets deleted every time it gets a new one to add. Now again we're missing one of the outputs here so if we don't have this checked then uh, even though we have texture outputs here for metal AO height rough the special map if this isn't checked then this material will not get that uh, will not get that texture uh, output because um, uh, although it's inside the SVS era file if it's not being processed by the file then it won't exist and it won't be there it won't be available to save so you are, you're gonna want to make sure those are all set and there's that one button now uh, gen check it all all of the materials for you at once um, Alright, so again, we're going to keep the texture outputs the same. We're going to be reusing the textures, and let's export those and wait just a minute while it does all four materials. Alright, uh, so now you'll notice under the directory here, so a little bit, uh, we've got uh, Dungeon Alcove underscore 2. That's our second version. We only have the albedo here because we have the reused texture set. Uh, and so when we go to that material, we'll see the albedo correctly and we'll see that we're reusing the other maps from the first export. And the other ones all have the proper maps and they're all set up in their uh, materials as well. So again, we can just it's the same right there. So um, hopefully if you've used the mass export before, you've probably liked that it makes exporting things fast. This should help out even more. Um, I think it's 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 more versatile for sure. I think it's it's definitely cleaner. The code is a lot cleaner, and it's all commented as well. Um, so you can check that out if you want to. Um, and one bug that existed when you were trying to build projects and and the SBR SAR files would cause issues, cause issues apparently. Substance archive. It's anywhere in your code that's not in the editor folder it causes an issue with builds so this that bug will be solved by this as well so um, let me know what you think and uh, this will be coming into all of the packages over time um, so if you already have uh, the mass exporter the JavaScript files you'll want to delete this file so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and you want to delete in the demo scripts the mass exporter here and also export single material if you have any of these very old versions delete those as well and these old versions delete those as well this is like the fourth or fifth iteration of this uh, script by the way alright there you go 
you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.